You know, we are at a dolphin so at the Mirage at Las Vegas. After this 30 interaction, the next one will be 4.30 and 5.30. Everybody can take a look toward the center of the pool. You're going to see Carly, one of our younger dolphins. There she goes. She'll be three years old in August. She's super athletic. She weighs in about 280 pounds now. She's got a lot of growth. Now, Carly is joined by her adult mother, and that is Sophie. Sophie is 15 years old. And then we have adult females in here named Puff and Puff and Duchess. Puff and Puff is 21 years old, and Puff and Puff's mother, Duchess, is 46. Duchess is our oldest dolphin here, and she's been here the longest. Oh, a beautiful air. Oh. All the jumps, spins, tail walk, all those aerial behaviors are natural behaviors of a lot of those dolphins. Anytime you see a trainer ask for one of those behaviors, it is simply an extension of that natural behavior. As I said before, we do have a few guests over the pool wall interacting with our dolphins and trainers. This is a meet and greet program. The opportunity to pet, feed, and take a photo with the dolphin. Yeah, that's not the plan, Hunter. They're swimming. Um, I can only four people can do that a day. There it is. Hunter Puff for those perimeter pals right there. There she goes. You got a dolphin. A lot of those dolphins can't propel themselves through the water at about 22 miles per hour for short burst and propel themselves out of the water up to 20 feet in the air. interactions will happen throughout the day around the half hour mark of every hour, so 3.30, 4.30, and 5.30. Every interaction is unique and good. They can ask for any link, and they can happen at any one of our pools. And in between training sessions, you'll be on a self-guided tour. So this first pool here where the interaction is taking place is the main pool. And you have four female dolphins in this main pool. Next pool over to the right is the center pool, and you'll find three more females over there. Over the center channel bridge and to the right, you'll find the birthing and research pool where our three males are, and then just past that, the orange and tan cabana will take you to the tigers, lions, and leopards. I'm sick freaking right. Make sure you get on both sides of the secret garden. There are a total of six cat habitats right there. For those of you just joining us, good afternoon. Welcome to Sick Green Noah's Secret Garden and Duck King Habitat here at the Mirage. If you are just coming down poolside, please remember to socially distance yourself from other travel parties. We're already pretty crowded down the pool wall. So look for open spaces along the left side over by the restroom area. Again, please keep your mask over mouth and nose unless actively eating or drinking. And these are mandates set forth by the state, so that is the reason that we can be open. We want to make sure our animals always have a safe home. I'm assuming that everybody else wants to make sure our animals have a safe home, so just make sure you're cooperating with those safety reminders. Please never reach over that pool wall or set anything on top of it. Just to so make sure that our animals always stay safe and no foreign objects go into our water. And again, always remember your potential splash zone poolside. 
Sometimes the trainers ask the doctors to splash, and sometimes the doctors will splash on their own. Quick squeals, whistles, chirps, any sound coming from our dolphin does come from the blowhole on top of the head. Even if the dolphin's mouth is open, there is no sound coming from the dolphin's mouth. The dolphin the dolphin's mouth. The dolphins do not breathe from their mouth, therefore they do not vocalize from their mouth. Very little sound coming from the dolphin's mouth. Beautiful skin. Gracias.